was hard. That was really, really hard. So I'm so glad that we get the, the reward of getting to be in the room with all of you all. Yay! Thank you for being here. There's a lot of places you could be and you're here to celebrate with us. Thank you. We love it. So how many people have never been to a Heels on Wheels event? Wow! That is blowing my mind. Well, Sabina, why don't you tell us a little bit about Heels on Wheels then? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Of course. Well, the Heels on Wheels is a queer, feminine spectrum performance art group. We create events here in Brooklyn and beyond, um, like our annual uh, Baby to be Revived Glitter, <laughs> glitter It was show. annual. <laughs> now it's not. Then we're tired. We're so tired. To make a book. We made um, a book. We made a book. We were like, oh, we've been touring annually for five years, and we're really tired, so we're going to rest. We're going to relax. So we're going to make a book. <laughs> annually for five years, all DIY. Damien had this amazing, gorgeous van. So we would jump in the van and then go all across the country, um, doing shows, sliding scale, community spaces, bars, all ages venues, wherever we could get into, basically. And then we had a monthly queer art salon called the Open Toe Peep Show. Right um, there, Brandon Saloon. Many of you in this room uh, have attended and performed there. Um, and then now we have And now we have this book. And then we made a book. So we've been busy. That's been happening. Um, how many people in this room are in the book? Yeah. 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 How many people in this room have ever performed at the Peep Show? Right here. Hi. Oh. How many people in this room have ever performed with Heels on Wheels ever or in the book or anything? Any, anyone who's ever performed with Heels on Wheels or done something, raise your hands. Yeah. Um, well, I also want to make sure that I say a huge thank you to everyone who participated in fundraising to yes. get this book out and in print. That was huge. That was huge. All that was like our biggest fundraiser to date. That was yeah, super we're publishing. Oh my Very god, I love it. Anyway. Um, it was a journey, you know, to publish a book. Like it's a journey to do any art, right? And it's a journey to do anything that isn't like sanctioned by HarperCollins or you know the colonial estate, right? Like you're always on a journey, like making our making our stories available to each other, right? So um, we started making the book in 2014. We put out our first call for submissions. <coughs> Um, and we started uh, editing and putting everything together in the spring of 2015. Um, and we were like, we're going to find a publisher, we're going to find a publisher. Fuck, we can't find a publisher, we're going to do it ourselves, like everything else. And it's a hard sell, like a big queer-ass anthology of like last different kinds of artists. Like, believe it or not, like, if you're at Arsenal Pulps and HarperCollins, whatever, are like jumping on it, so. Uh -huh. and, we, and we learn things on our journey, like, uh, like publishers don't put out anthologies because they're hard to lay out. And we were like, well, pfft. Then we'll just lay it Damien out. Damien will do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, to be so clear, Damien laid out the entire book. Like, <laughs> So at the very last minute, um, uh, we were actually connected with this publisher called Publication Studio. Um, they were super, they're super dope. They're in, um, they're, they're these two dykes who are in Portland, Oregon, who are living like the happy Portland life, <laughs> publishing like poetry and doing, you know, whatever else they do, making kombucha, I don't know. <laughs> so supportive and so amazing and so incredible to work with at every step of the way. So we feel super lucky that we found um, someone to be on our team with this book. Um, and so the, they worked with us like to actually get it published, to work with a printer, that's where your money came in. Get a special in. cover. Like, oh, all the cover was happening. made by Untitled Queen. Mm -hmm. Put it here. our journey with um, for those of you who did donate and pre-ordered books um, our publisher who lived their happy Portland Oregon lifestyle are just sending books out in waves um, so if you haven't gotten it yet you will they're doing it they're, they're sending it media mail we had to send 165 books out because that is how many amazing awesome and they books like us are like a tiny teeny DIY she's trying they're not even three dykes they're two <laughs> Yeah, take a photo of yourself being cute with the girl. 
everyone right. who's done that already, we're so excited yes. and gratified. Hashtag literary grid, <laughs> all that yeah. social media stuff. Um, so tonight, now we're on tonight, right? Yes. So tonight, it's going to be a long show. We have an awesome lineup, so we're never going to publish a book again like this. So this is our party, and we're going to party as hard as we want to. So we have this incredible, stellar lineup of people. Um, and, you know, we're trying to keep it short, but there are a lot of people. So if you got to go, if you got to take care of yourself, go do that. Please try to wait till in between artists. Please don't get up while someone is performing. Don't do it, because I will call you out. Um, and I mean, if it's an emergency, do your thing, take care of yourself. But just so you know, if you gotta leave, you know, do what you gotta do. But we're here to have this one night and to just have it full of love and magic and celebration. So that's gonna be happening. Um, and on that note, let's yeah. get started, right? Yeah. Sure. So we're gonna start off with a little Damien Lux action. With some inspired from the book. Thank you so much. So I'm going to be reading to you um, from the very, very, very first piece of writing in the text. Um, uh, it's the intro. Um, it's called, I laid out the whole book. I can tell you like literally what everything is. I'm like, it's actually in the uh, one point one section. Um, because we came from a hungry place. Uh, and in it, I, I start with a quote of my uh, co-conspirator. Um, I never sat around waiting for permission to make my art or live my life. Why would I start now? So inspired by Heather. So when this all started, all I wanted was to be weird, smart, queer, and not lonely. I wanted hope and a place to put my ambition. If we had just stayed home, watched internet TV, and waited for someone to discover us, we never would have done all the things we did. We never would have had all the good and bad experiences. We never would have blasted our hearts open, cried in each other's arms, made art, visited 34 states and three provinces, or partied as hard as we did. We never would have touched so many people, or fucked up and then challenged ourselves to do better. We never would have had people tell us we changed their lives, inspired them to feminifest their dreams, or helped them get their ideas into the world. I learned early on that if I wanted something, I was gonna have to work for it. Ain't no one handing you anything, girl, refrained in my head. That's right. But something about that refrain was off. And creating a multi-year art project within radical, queer, feminist, anarchist, punk, and community art spaces shifted that story. People handed me things all the time when Heels on Wheels toured. All the time. Places to stay, dinner, appreciation, drinks, hugs, stories, handmade tokens like pins and patches, zines, confessions, photos, shots. As it turns out, as artists bold enough to tour complex queer femme stories, our generosity was exactly the key to getting to share in the best parts of many fantastic people. The truth is, you can't buy this kind of interaction. You can't throw a bunch of money into a void and expect authenticity to emerge. It was because we came from a hungry place that we got fed. It was because we dared to live our dreams, legitimize ourselves as artists, and dive into the communities we knew were out there that we got to do so. No dads, no masters, no waiting for permission. <laughs>